Hi everyone. This is Shirley from Shirley's World and I'm here to uh, show you my little haul I got today from Goodwill. I was getting low on inventory so I thought this would be a good day to run up to Goodwill and see what I could find. I didn't have very much time because I also had to go to the bank and you know I don't like to leave the dog in the crate very long. So I think I only spent maybe a little over an hour in there. I went to the bigger Goodwill. And I don't know. I'm thinking the smaller Goodwill that I go to actually has it has more items that I pick up. This Goodwill, uh, although there's a lot more items, and they keep bringing racks out, which is good. I just don't seem to find uh, as many things, although I did find a couple of really good things today. So I hope somebody joins me. If not, you'll see this afterward. Um, I got, I didn't get very many things. I only got a dozen things, 12 items. I spent with my 35% off coupon, I actually spent $39.33. So let's see what that is. $39.33 divided by 12. So I spent $3.28 each if you average it out, which is what I do. Three twenty-eight. <clears throat> okay, so not too bad. Um, I'll show you the. I got some shoes, three pairs. I'll show you those last. I'll show you the clothes first. Um, this pair of jeans. Um, I've never found this brand before. Rag and Bone. They're size 27, so small. And he actually charged me a uh, kid's price for these. So he only charged me $2.79 for these pants. And then he took 35% off of that. So, yeah, they're really small size but they're not kids these are women's jeans uh, rag and bone never found it before uh have they're co mostly cotton a little polyester in there so i guess this is the little sign for rag and bone i don't know because i've never gotten it before but it's supposed to do supposed to be one of the better ones to find although these are skinny these are the skinny uh, jeans and they're no more than mid-rise I think they're a little better than low-rise but yeah so I was happy to find those <clears throat> staying in the pants department here this is by Columbia. I like to buy Columbia items. This is a pair of pants in a size 10 women's. And these are the kind that you zip off the legs and they turn into shorts. So these are great for hiking in the summertime. If you start out sort of chilly and then you can, uh, there's another button here. I don't know why that unbuttons. Maybe that's a, oh, that's a pocket. They also have a pocket on the leg. Uh, one leg, a uh, one leg pocket in this nice uh, beige color. So I'm sure they'll do well. <clears throat> These are in no order, so. I saw this pair of uh, brand new Nike Pro stretchy shorts uh, hanging there, so I picked them up. 
These are a size large. Uh, I don't know if they're men or women. They were in the women's department, but that doesn't mean anything. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Thanks for joining. Yeah, I just started. Uh, just showed a couple pairs of pants. These are compression shorts, and they have a uh, suggested retail of $28. Just a pair of uh, Nike Pro compression shorts. <clears throat> This was hanging in the pants department, of course, not where it was supposed to be. But um, it was such a cute pattern. I love this. It's going to be hard for me not to keep this. Um, although, I'm not sure. Oh, this is a medium. Relaxed Fit by Land's End. It's just a pullover top. But look at the cute... Uh, line drawings it's all different animals like forest animals birds owls deer the squirrel there there's a fox <laughs> i love this i may have to try this on uh, yeah so i got that just as i was heading out i saw it on the rack Here's a pair of gray. These are really fine, like pin whale corduroy in this pretty gray. They're by American Eagle, super stretch. And they are size six regular, high rise jegging. So they're skinny, skinny, stretchy, but they're high rise. And they're corduroy for winter. So, even though they keep saying um, baggy jeans are in now, slim jeans and skinny jeans are out. But there's a lot of people that really like skinny jeans, and young people that like skinny jeans. And uh, I was listening to somebody on YouTube that was saying they they took their daughter shopping and she wanted skinny jeans and they couldn't find them in the store. Hi, Diane. So maybe it's good to have some skinny jeans, you know, in your closet or in your store on eBay. Because there's always going to be people that want skinny jeans. You know, those people with really good shapes. <laughs> Yeah, you still wear them? Yeah, a lot of people like them. Uh, this is uh, by Talbot's, and the black tags were half price. So this was actually half off the price. Uh, these are bigger jeans. Uh, I mean, straight leg. These are size 14, modern is the, brand, is the uh, style, and they're ankle jeans. So they're more of a straight leg, but they're shorter ankle jeans. So this is more like what's in right now. And this has a very high rise in it. So by Talbot's. I've been selling a lot of Talbot's. Uh, this, this also has, along this, each side, has this stripe, uh, black and white stripe. I've sold quite a few jeans this week. Uh, winter's coming and people are buying their jeans. <laughs> you sold a pair today, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I did too. I sold, I sold my first bundle. I mean, actual bundle uh, in Poshmark. Everybody talks about these bundles. And I try to put them together when I see somebody bundling something and I, I give them a, you know, a price, a little better price. And this lady came back with, with even a lower price. And I did take it though, but she bought three items. That alone gives her 15% off. And then she wanted a better price. So 
I did take it, and uh, that'll be in this next week's uh, What Sold video. So that was kind of exciting. That was waiting for me this morning. Here's another pair of jeans, American Eagle Stretch. And these are probably, I don't know if they're close to low rise. They might be mid rise. I'd have to measure them. These are the artist. Uh, I've sold this before. American Eagle Artist jeans. They're more of a boot cut uh, jean. <clears throat> and the jeans that I'm selling are a lot of American Eagle. So that's what I was hunting for today. Hanging on one of the racks they just brought out was this jacket, L.L. Uh, L. Bean. This is a men's. This is the most expensive thing I bought today, actually. This regular price was $8.19. I don't think he should have counted this as a jacket because this is a pullover. I didn't know what it was, you know. This only zips down to like a half zip. But it's a pretty color. There's a hood inside this collar. It's like something you'd throw on on a golf course, you know, when you're out. And the size is large or extra large here. Size men's large regular. So a nylon, uh, throw over a nylon windbreaker jacket. Drop my uh, tail slip. Okay, another pair. Oh, these are shorts. This is the first thing I saw. I thought they were cute. People go on vacation, they need shorts. <laughs> Talbots, petites, stretch, size 12. I just thought they were cute denim shorts. <clears throat> They have little, uh, you can pull them tighter at the waist, sort of adjustable waist. But yeah, those are cute. This is a linen sweater, if I can find the top, by Tahari, plain Tahari. 100% linen in a large, sort of an open, pretty knit, almost a dolman sleeve, like an elbow length sleeve in this, uh, I don't know what color you'd call this, sort of a real light turquoise or light, I don't know what you call it, muted green. <clears throat> This is by American Eagle. It's a large. This is like a, like this is a tunic top with ruffles along the bottom, puffy balloon sleeves, and the back is open. Has a big open place on the back. I don't know what you do about your bra strap there. <laughs> Your bra strap would show. I don't know. But I guess you wear a fancy back bra. And it's this very, very light pale lavender color. And one more item, item of clothes. And he did not charge me a jacket for this. And this is a jacket. He just charged a top. So that was good. Not the best brand, Fila. It's a medium, but I love the color, of course. It's a fitted jacket. It's new. Fila Sport. 
I'm not sure if it had a price on. Yeah, $55. It was sold in Kohl's. $55. So a really nice uh, little jacket in a size medium. This beautiful color. Has pockets. Zip front. So that's the clothes I got. Let me show you. Uh, got a pair of Steve Madden. These are in really good condition. This isn't real wood, of course, but it looks like wood. These platform sandals with an ankle strap. And they are a reptile uh, print. They're not, I'm sure they're not real leather. <clears throat> they're called the Zilla, 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 Zilla I don't know. <laughs> Z-I-L-Y-A, Zilla. They're a size eight medium, all man-made. No leather here. But in excellent, excellent condition. I mean, they've been worn, but they're in perfect condition. Except for dirty soles, a little bit. So those. And I found a pair. I looked at these heavy sandals. Because they're large, number one. They're size 12, which is a size 40. Six or 48, can't see. They're size 12. And these are, as you can see from, whoop, you see that on the bottom right there, Echo, E C C O. Why doesn't that show up? There it is, Echo. So these are in excellent condition. Uh, they have a, you know, Velcro closing there. But men's uh, sandals. So I'm sure I can get a good amount for those. And the most exciting find for me. <laughs> I was just walking along the women's shoes and this jumped out at me. This little brand. You can see that. This is horrible lighting today. You see? Anyway, it's Ariat. <laughs> Ariat boots. They look sort of cowboyish up here, but they're not cowboy heels. They're regular heels. I mean, they're the cowboy style. Brown. They're in excellent, excellent condition. Hardly ever been worn. A little bit, but not. I have to wash those soles. Uh, yeah, but they're only a size. They're all leather. Leather uppers. And they're a six and a half B. So, whoever had them, they must not have fit them very good because you don't usually give up your Ariat boots. <laughs> they are the most comfortable. Our whole horse uh, life, we've worn Ariat boots of some type. Uh, I've worn the higher English boots and I've worn like over the ankle boots and and also uh, the shorter comfy boots, but all Ariats. Hi, Bumblebee. <laughs> you almost missed, I'm on the last thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, only got a dozen things, but a couple good things. The first thing I showed and this last thing, well, a couple of those shoes are really good. So Ariat boots. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
I really had no energy this morning to even go to Goodwill, <clears throat> but I forced myself. I forced myself, and then afterwards, uh, I had to go to the bank also, so, yeah. So I've only listed a couple things today. I have uh, maybe three more things to take photos of up the stairs, and then I'm out of things. But along with the 50-pound uh, thread-up box I have coming, I also ordered a shoe box. I don't think I've ever had a shoe box, have I? I don't think I've ever ordered one. But I see a lot of people getting pretty good items in their shoe boxes. So I'm going to try it. I have one of those coming. And I may order a men's box. The men's boxes are expensive. I think it's 25 items and it's like $110 or something. Maybe it's 25 pounds. I think it's 25 pounds. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> 25 pounds for $110. And that seems to be a little more expensive than the women's things. But yeah, I haven't found many men's things lately. So I may order that today. And then I'll have three thread up boxes on the way. Two are already en route. I may order another one. Yeah, I just don't have the energy to go out a lot of days uh, to shop. So that's what I got. I'm pleased with today's uh, little haul, even though it's not that much. But it'll tide me over <coughs> uh, till I get a box. So, Bumblebee, go back and see what I got. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go look through tech and sports stores. You know, he carries really bread and butter items. It's all men's. But uh, I meant to do that before I went shopping today and really see what the, the, uh, brands that he sells. I know he sells things like Banana Republic because he's always mentioning it. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, and Ralph Lauren, you know, the things I pretty much sell, but I want to, I want to just check that out again. So I'm going to close for now and get these things hung up. Uh, how I um, get the wrinkles out of jeans. And I learned this from Chris when he says he just lays them in a pile. He just lays his clothes in a pile and it de-wrinkles everything. Now, I don't think it does it so much to blouses and cotton blouses and things, but it really works on jeans and pants. If you lay them out one on top of another, especially if you have a whole lot of them, and they're heavy, you know, it's like a press, like the old clothes press. If anybody knows what that is, that's an antique piece of furniture that they used to have a hundred years ago or more. And it was a real skinny cupboard like this. It was big for clothes. It was real skinny. And they would hang their clothes in there and they'd get all pressed together. It was called a clothes press. And that's how they got the wrinkles out of their clothes. So, yeah, Chris is right. <laughs> so I will close for now. I'll be back on Sunday. Bumblebee, I got a bundle from Poshmark. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Yeah, I think actually Poshmark is winning so far this week in sales. I mean, I'm not getting many sales either way, but <clears throat> yeah, I seem to do better on the weekends when the weekends come along. So I will see you on Sunday. Uh, my, my son is coming out, and I'm not sure if he's coming Saturday or Sunday, but Sunday... 
if I'm not on at four, don't give up. I'll be on sometime Sunday. <laughs> but I think it'll be four. So I'm going to close and see you then. Bye.